G'day everybody, it's me again. As promised, I said I'd uh, show everybody what this alternator looks like when it's done. Now I finally, well I took out most of the bolts already. So you can get to see the diode pack and everything. I won't actually test the uh, diodes or the regulator or anything. I'm just going to assume they're dead, they're not worth keeping. There's the uh, brushes, or the little slip ring brushes for the uh, field current. They are well worn. They have little, what you'd call scoring marks in them. Obviously there's been some debris in there at some stage. And, uh, the slip ring, well the actual slip rings themselves. I'll probably get a better look at those once I get the rest of it off. And, uh, pop this all off as one assembly. That's the diodes and the regulator. Still a screw in there. Not 100% sure on how these regulators work, but uh, basically they measure the output voltage and they regulate the field current to maintain the voltage between sane limits and um, three pin connector being field current, uh, the light on the dashboard, and I'd, I'd, I'd say a ground. I'm not sure on that either. We'll find out later on one day. Um, people had commented that it was possibly one of these diodes in the pack that had failed. I can't see any obvious signs of a failure. But um, with silicon it's not always so obvious, so there's, looks like eight diodes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight diodes by the looks. There's your battery terminal connection, of course. Connections to the actual windings in the alternator. Which are these ones here. Put him well, insulated by... Ooh, I don't know what kind of rubber that is, but it doesn't feel like a normal rubber. Maybe a silicon rubber with insulators. And I don't know how we're going to go getting this one apart, but we'll see. Now you can see those slip rings are quite worn. Oh, it's even making some lovely noises too. Something's rubbing. Might be one of these windings now that I've taken out the isolators. But those slip rings are really worn. Really worn. Let's see if we can get this other cover off and have a look at the windings. I'm hoping that that just splits apart. Yep. There's not much to it. It's just a cast alloy cover. Nothing too exciting. Oh dear. That would be what was rubbing. I wonder if that burnt through. Not sure. Have a look at the end of that. That could definitely have been the short to earth that destroyed the machine. Now, if that will just slip out, or do I need to beat it out with a hammer? There's the rotor. Oh, nasty. Bearing's fucked. And it does look like that this rotor has been scratching on the outside of the windings, or the, the stator winding. Yeah, it has. It's been making contact inside. Get that on camera for you. Around here, there it is. There, making some contact. I don't know if these windings will just slip out or not. I think they might be held in a bit more severely. Oh, I'd need a deep socket. I will need a deep socket. Okay, well just give me a second here. I'll use the magic of uh, YouTube editing and. Uh, get a socket onto that or a spanner and we'll have a look at the windings directly and through a combination of butchery and brute force we have the uh, staters out and this is well cooked well well cooked some seem to be cooked more than others but all the insulation has been turned into crunchy um, that bit there I accidentally hit so you can ignore that but um, this one that broke out 
here. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but uh, I know I didn't break that, and it does look kind of arky on the end, like it may have been arcing out. But yeah, well fried. Doesn't smell so fried, but it is. Have a look in there. The insulation is almost completely gone. So, yep, that's that one. Bearing in this end, very sad. Very, very sad. Not very turny at all. Um, I'd say it's a combination of things that killed this, but mostly the fact it shorted out, probably destroyed the regulator, possibly some diodes like people had commented before. Anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching.